refreshing. I am too. See, we're on. Woohoo! We are live, and there it is. All right. I'm the only person on. I gotcha. There's nobody logged in yet, so I'm waiting to say hello. I guess I'll put in the comments, so we'll start with the comments. Any birthdays? So, Miss Chrissy, it looks like it looks like dahlias are on and ready to. Oh, fantastic! So we're just we figured we better get on live and get our friends loaded up and ready to go. But we are just adding one more microphone for Miss Bev. Is one, two, three? Test. We don't hear her. Oh, Miss Karen is on. All right, Miss Karen, can you hear Miss Bev at home? Please uh, add to the comments. Don't mind my phone. I'm just watching all of you. Oh, Don Henry. It looks like is Don Henry on? Uh, Linda, pa Linda and Sarah Powell are on. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Macri's are on. We are just getting loaded up. I think we're just about ready, but we figure it was better to get everybody loaded and ready before. Well, Miss Bev, are we using the screen today? Um, we have to figure the screen out yet. Like we're going to be, gonna see we're going to, they're going to see our PowerPoint, but we're not going to have it on our screen. Okay. okay. So I'm, I am going to keep my phone with me, guys, so that I can see. All right. Uh, Karen Platt says she cannot hear Bev. She's only hearing me. Thank you, Karen Platt. And the Dahlia family is here officially. Oh no! Wait. Now she says she can hear Bev now. Okay. We just want to make sure it's weird to know what's out there versus what's in the room. Okay. Oh, and Nana in the house. Good morning to the Horn family. Um, I, d I don't know, you know, when you log in, I don't know if you can see the old comments. So I did ask if there's any birthdays. Please post your birthdays when we get there. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Um, I think well we're I just about ready. So, Miss Chrissy, you think we can begin? I think so. We definitely have enough kids ready. As long as we've got yeah, one or oh. two, awesome. we are ready to praise the Lord. So. Well, that is fantastic. So as long as we're ready to go with our PowerPoint screen for the overlay, we can begin. So I just need to ask Ms. Trish and Mr. John where we are with, the, with um, getting our PowerPoint up so everybody can follow along at home. Well, we're getting fancy in our technology. We are. I'm so sorry, Ms. Trish, I didn't hear you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start right here, and I'll stay here until which time we get to our activity screen. I know it. Uh, uh, no worries. We'll wait for you. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh, the McLarens are in the house. <coughs> Yay, God. Jen's hey, still Kate. singing God Hi, bless Katie. you, Mary Katie. Hey, Rob. Hey, Miss Jen. Ooh, that's cool the way they overlaid. So now I can see on my phone oh, good. what they see at home. All right, perfect. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to go along with my agenda and and... Okay, excellent. Well, we want to welcome everyone to Sunday School. That is to our Sunday School friends and our older friends who join in. Miss Karen, we are so glad that you're here. Miss Elaine, I don't know if you're in the house yet, but you always join in as well. And we can't thank you enough for being a part of Sunday School because here at Sunday School, we've got something for everyone. And all the parents that stay on with their kids and help get involved, I love it. That is true. Uh, we got we've got Miss Jen, Miss Ashley in the house. Mm -hmm. Nana's always in the house as well, so that's Lori, always pretty exciting. Sandy, yep. Well, welcome. Um, first of all, as many of you know, I am Miss Bev, and I just want you to know how so glad that you're here with us. God is good all the time. We also have Miss Chrissy in the house, whoop, whoop. and um, it's always song time with Miss Chrissy. And so, please make sure that when you sing all the time and finally we've got mr john and miss trish in the house as well and honestly where would we be without you we could not do this without our tech true um they truly are running around in the back and they truly are our unsung heroes you don't see them they're flipping between cameras they're trying to bring up the powerpoint slides click and do all those things to make sure that what's on what you see on the camera flows and honestly they do it so incredibly well so so thank you to Mr. John, Miss Trish. Mwah! We love you, and um, we really appreciate all of your efforts. And this is all new, so thank you, thank you, thank you. 
at St. Paul's Sunday School, which is our next slide. Okay, next we slide. We giggle. Woo and do you all remember what gi giggle means? Ready? God, God is good. God, God loves everyone. everyone. Oh, Miss Chrissy, guess what I forgot? Punctuation, Punctuation Ms. marks. You so are you know an what? English language arts teacher, and we have I know. No, like, no punctuation. You know, what? That, you know what that means, don't you? Uh oh, we gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. All okay, right. ready? Proofread. Okay, here we go. God, God is good. good. Boop. God, God loves everyone. everyone. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> okay. All right, and now I'd like all of you to stand, and your prayer hands are going together because we are going to have our opening prayer. It's ready. All right. I want to hear everybody's voices like through the breeze and the wind and through the open window. Okay, I want to hear everyone together. Here we go. Ready? Dear, Dear loving, loving God, God, first, yay God. God. Thank you for the star. Today we celebrate Epiphany. Christmas is about Jesus, but we know you planned it all. You led the wise men to baby Jesus. The star helped them find their way. Help us find our way. It might not be a star. Maybe it's mom. Maybe it's Nana. Some days it's a friend. It's been our Sunday school leaders. Lord, every day it's you. Jesus and the Holy Spirit working in our lives. God is good. Jesus is joy. The Holy Spirit, Miss Chrissy, rocks, rocks our world. world. We, we say, say giggle. giggle. God, God is good. good. Boop. God, God loves everyone. everyone. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Amen. Amen. All right, and now, Miss Chrissy, we've got some speech bubbles. Oh, can excellent. you see them on the screen? Sarah, I need your help. Will you want to give me one? Of course, Sarah picks the, the one. Today, we're going to learn about Epiphany. How about Andrew? Andrew, got another speech bubble for me? What is today's joke, you said? Ha ha. Miss Chris, you're going to love today's joke. Uh oh. Today's Are you joke. ready? All right. The three wise men came to the manger to, for, with gifts for the baby Jesus. They brought gold and frankincense. And wait, there's more. Ah. Get it, myrrh, more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Oh right. boy. <laughs> that was a fun joke. I like that one. And finally, our last comment. Katie, what do you got for me? What is epiphany? That is a big word. Well, we're going to talk about what epiphany means today. Epiphany is just, it's a time period. It's a special time when the wise men followed the star to the baby Jesus. And in our activity, we're going to find out a little bit all about that. And we've got some Bible verses action going on. So you remember last week for our Bible verse, we were in Luke chapter 1, verse 38. And there's some blanks up there. Blank said, here am, here am blank, the blank of the Lord. Mm. What could those blanks possibly be? Anthony, I know you've already got these out there already. Rowan, how about you? Do you have the answers? I bet you you do. How about everybody together? Okay, here we go. Nice and loud. I want to hear all those voices. Okay, ready? Mary, Mary said, said, here am I, the, the servant, servant of, of the Lord. Lord. Nicely done, everyone. Miss Trish is back there going, what, what? I wish you could see her in the camera on her. Mm -hmm. All right, now this week's Bible verse, it comes to us from Matthew. It is the second chapter, and it is going to be verse 21. And the wise men knelt that down arrow, they knelt down and paid him. Now, in, the, in your screen, you're going to see the word respect, holding a hand with a hand that says respect. Now, the Bible verse is not the word respect. The Bible verse is the word homage. I put the word respect up there just so that you could know that homage means that they paid him respect by kneeling before a baby. So here you've got three the three magi, the three stargazers who bring the gold, the frankincense, and the more myrrh. <laughs> and and they, what did they do? The first thing that they do is they kneel before the baby Jesus. 
They're grown men, and yet they are kneeling before this baby. So they're showing him respect. They're paying him homage. And so next week, Miss Chrissy, it's not going to be the word respect on that screen. Okay. It's going to be the word homage. All right. Okay? So I want Increasing you to Increasing our vocabulary, Miss That's Pat. right. We're Everybody. learning all kinds of vocabulary words. We're learning epiphany. We're learning homage. I love Good it. Good stuff. And punctuation. <laughs> and punctuation. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to ask everybody to read it together with me because those words, those pictures are going to go away, and you're going to be left with blanks on your screen. Here we go. Matthew chapter 2, verse 21. Everyone together, please. And wise, wise men knelt down and paid him homage. Okay, here we go. Now we've got the screen with the blanks. I want to hear everyone together nice Ooh. and strong. Oh, Sam's got it. He's ready. Sam is ready? I think awesome. So. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. Sam, are you going to lead us? Who's going to be louder, Sam or Anthony? Uh, I don't know. It could be a tie. Oh. You know, Katie might beat them all out. Might be. Yeah, I think right. Katie's going to beat them out. Here we go. All right. Nice and strong. I want to hear you say it. Ready? Go. And wise men knelt down and paid him homage. Woo! Not respect, homage. And respect. That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you said either one, we'll either take it one. today. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And now we have offering time. Mm -hmm. And our offering time, we want to remind you that it is about your service to others. That is just as important as any cash or money that you might be sending into the church. Of course, certainly both are always appreciated and always very helpful because your money does go for the, for the service of the church as well as world hunger and all of the other things that we do here mm -hmm. to, ser to service our community and the world at large. So please, please, please do not forget that service that you do and perform for others is in the name of Jesus. So important, my Sunday school friends. Mm -hmm. And ta da 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 we're talking about stars today, and stars give us light. And before that, we have our birthday song. Oh, yes, birthday song. So Anybody have birthdays today, Miss well, Chrissy? Anybody none of our, um, any of our Sunday school kids have birthdays, but here in the Macri family, instead of saying great-grandpa, they say more. So their more pop-up oh. is going to be 95 wow. tomorrow. So more pop-up is set setting the example for the family, patriarch. Happy birthday, Mo more pop-up. I just think we have to do a shout-out to more pop-up. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, more pop-up. Woo! That's a, like, that deserves a big shout-out, 95. Absolutely. So can we sing happy birthday to more pop-up? Oh, sure. Awesome. Are we ready? Happy, happy birthday fun. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear more pop-up. Happy birthday to you. Jesus loves you, and we do too. We so I hope he gets a chance to see that video. And uh. now it is our song time. And Ooh. just as star stars bring us light, so do lighthouses. So Ms. Bev told me that we were going to talk all about light and, and bright things, and, and I learned that from Pastor Sermon today. It was all about bright, shining things. So Miss Trish had... A phenomenal idea, because usually I sing this little light of mine, and we sang that, I think, like two weeks ago. We so, did. So I'm trying, I try not to double up anything too soon, but Miss Trish is like, what about my lighthouse? And I remember we did that song in Bible school two summers ago, and so it's called My Lighthouse, and there are some hand motions. I'm going to have to juggle, because I'm going to use the, my phone for the music. Give you at least some basic hand motions that go like this. So my light house, and there's a double clap up there. My light house, and then it's shining in the darkness. I will follow you. My light house, my light house. I will trust the promise. Oh, well, it can be I first. I will trust the promise that you will that you will carry. Sorry, that you will carry me safe to shore and then shore goes right into this big oh 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 so we when we were here in bible school we made it like a big wave like you see in the baseball stadium mm -hmm. but like, you can still do this home so it's um safe to shore and then it's whoa oh, oh 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 and then we're gonna go safe to shore all the way back over here i think it's three times that we do it safe to shore now there are verses if you remember from bible school that would be great if you could help me out uh, so i do need the music and the lyrics 
And so, Ms. Chrissy, I'm asking everybody to stand oh, up. Oh, this is definitely, if great. you're not standing already, you need to have some movement. Okay, so great energy. So our people that are in our sanctuary, Casey is in the back participating Woo. with Sunday School. Thank goodness for Casey, or I might not have known all the hand motions, too, and so Casey that was for real. And Casey is also leading, um, clicking through our PowerPoint for everybody, too. Excellent. So keeping us right on track. All right. So shout out to Casey. Thank you so much, hon. So we're going to do... So Ms. Bev is actually going to be my bigger one for hand motions because mm -hmm. I do have to juggle the phone. Okay. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be clapping as much as I would love to. Okay. In my wrestling, in my doubt, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse. Shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Safe to shore. Shore, safe to shore. I won't fear what tomorrow brings. With each morning I'll rise and sing. My God's love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore, safe to shore. Time. I do. I think lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore, safe to shore. I had so much fun. And thank you, Miss Trish, for bringing that memory back. Uh, those were good times that we had when we were shipwrecked in vacation they Bible were. school where we learned that Jesus saved us. And we, Jesus saves us by the lighthouse and following the light. So today's activity, we are talking about epiphany. And I'm going to be moving around today. So well, I need my Bible. You do need your Bible. And my Bible's in and the And we back. need to know if Miss Trish is ready to move around. So I'm just going to leave you on camera for a moment, and I'm going to grab my Bible. It's just me. Oh, boy. And Mr. John Good and Ms. Trish has reminded me that we call it, for fun, we call it our bibble. Just for fun, like we giggle with our bibble. Well, thank you for... That moment while I went to go grab my Bible, I forgot to have it up here with me, so thank you for your patience. All right, so we are talking about the wise men. It is the, the Gospel of Matthew, the, the first Gospel in the New Testament, and we're talking about chapter 2, it is the visit of the wise men. And in the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking where is the child who has been king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. So hopefully you're hearing some of those words. There's that word homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and all the scribes of the people, 
he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it had been written by the prophets. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star. And they had seen it at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. Now, this is an interesting wording. They said, on entering the house. Now, I need to stop the reading of the Bible story for a minute to talk about this because they've been following the star. And in our Christmas story, Miss Christy, when we talk about the Christmas story, we talk about the wise men going to Bethlehem and seeing the baby Jesus in the manger because it makes for a complete Christmas story. But here in the Bible, it tells us upon entering the house. Now, remember, Jesus was born in a stable because they were they had gone to Bethlehem to be counted for the census. And so they were following the star and it's around Bethlehem. But by the time they walked all of this distance with their camels and their entourage and all of the, the people that they were they were with, they finally get to Nazareth where Jesus is. And they said upon entering the house. So it took them a while. They didn't quite get there right at Jesus's birth. But it makes for a nice Christmas story. So, well, And it shows you how important he was that they traveled that long. They didn't give up. They just, they knew they had mm -hmm. to see baby Jesus. Whether it took them two weeks, two months, or two years, they kept going. They kept going. And just like our lighthouse, we will follow you. Well, they were following that star. And so they finally find the baby Jesus. He is a little tyke. And they enter the house. And there they lay out their gold and their frankincense and their myrrh, more. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Mary is just overwhelmed with, with such gratitude and the things that they say to her. And she holds all of these things in her heart. And, um, and then they're, they're prepared to go back and tell Herod exactly what they've seen, exactly what they've done and where they've been. And then an angel comes to them and says, ah, don't do it. Go home a different way because King Herod wants to bring harm to the baby Jesus, and that just would not be good. And so they were like, hey, angel, guess what? You're right. That would be terrible. And so they go home a different way, and King Herod has no idea where the baby Jesus is because guess what? His GPS, it wasn't working that day. Whew. All right, so that is the story that is in the book of Matthew. And on our altar, we have... our nativity set and here we have the, the three kings bringing their gold their frankincense and their myrrh now up here on the altar we have some other things too do you see anything do you notice anything that's maybe a little different here in the sanctuary in the nave do you see anything that's just a little different a little added maybe yes the manger the nativity is added Anything else? Miss Chrissy has her hand raised. I'm, I'm going to answer for those kids out there that are probably okay. shouting at the TV. Miss Casey's got her hand raised back there, too. Uh, yeah, not the banner, although the Joy, Joy, so Joy, I think has been there a week or two. But, Miss Bev, I do know some ex see some extra stars. Well, there are. There extra are stars. stars up in the so, where are the stars? Where do you see a star? Do you see a star over here on the pulpit? Yes. Awesome. So... Why would there be a star here on the pulpit? So, so God leads us to the pulpit. I have a star at the pulpit because it's representing the word of God. Oftentimes, the pastor will have her Bible up here, with, and she, and she reads in her gospel, and she reads from the book of Matthew. She reads from the book of John and Luke and Matthew. She'll read from the Old Testament and the Psalms and everything in between. And so... God leads us to his word, and he uses the star to do that. Where else does God lead us? God leads us to the baptismal font. 
And it is here at the baptismal font that he leads us to the water. And in the waters of baptism, we become the children of God. And isn't that just beautiful, Miss Chrissy? I love it. So Rowan, Jace, Jonah, you are children of God. Miss Karen, even though you're old and gray, guess what? You are a Woo! child of God, too. Pastor is a child of God, even though she knows all the words in the Bible and can interpret them and understands their meaning. She is never too old to be a child of God. So the star leads us to the baptismal font. Where else does the star lead us? It leads us to a really fabulous place called here at the altar. Mm. And it is here at the altar, Miss Chrissy, that we get forgiven. Now, Chris, granted, this is the Christmas story, and we're talking about the wise men following the star and where the star leads us. During Jesus' time, it is at the end of his life that he leads us to the cross. And it is here at the altar that we get forgiven through communion and the bread and the body and blood of Jesus Christ. So the star leads us here. And finally, the star leads us another place. Do you see any more stars? Do you see a lot of them all in one place? They are. I hope you do. They're even on the pews you're not supposed to sit on. It is <laughs> that is right. <laughs> the, we have stars on the pews. And this is where we sit to come to hear the word, to come, to come receive baptism, to come to the altar. And so the star leads us to each other. When we are the light of Christ, we give the light of Christ to others. And so, yes, my Sunday school friends, no matter how old you are, you lead us to the word of God, and we are the word of God to others. Isn't that powerful, Miss Chrissy? That's awesome. So please don't just think of the star as being above the manger one time a year at Christmas. The star is within all of us all of the time, and we are leading others to the word of God as well, as well as being led to the word of God, to the waters of baptism, so, so we're the and light, to the altar. A bright light. Like when you strung up Christmas lights all yes. over me, That's and right. it was a bright and, light. And shining in the darkness, yes. <laughs> Safe to shore, absolutely. All right. Um, so this week and in the coming weeks of 2021, please be reminded that when you see the stars in the sky, remember they are not just there affixed permanently, that you are the star leading others to the word of God as well. And with that, we have our closing prayer which miss chrissy is going to lead us all right god is good all the time all the time god is good oh wait a second miss chrissy oh miss uh, not not everybody was participating out there in um our facebook live streaming world all right, and on so, youtube so i got an idea so all the sunday school kids i want you to lead it with me so I'll, I'll do the one, two, three, and we'll say God is good. And then all the grown-ups, so the parents in the room or the grown-up Sunday school members, they're all going to be the response. All right? So kids, you're with me. Here we go. One, two, three. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Woo, I love it. I love it. I love the, uh, the That was much better, Miss Chrissy. Awesome. All Definitely right, so we've got better. prayer hands ready. If you are in a group at home, a, a family, and you want to hold hands for that group prayer, that would be awesome as well. So, but prayer hands ready, however you're, whoever you're with. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for our friends and our family. Thank you for our Sunday school leaders and our, te our tech team for bringing us all together. Even though we're still behind a computer screen, Lord, we do feel the presence of your love and sharing it with our friends. Help us to go out and be the light. We're going to shine so brightly that we can lead others to you and to your good work. Have, help us have a good week as we go back to school and to work this week. And all this we pray in your name. Amen. And, and yay, God. God. Thank you all. See you next week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye, everyone. Love being with you.